as an athlete, if you are playing scared or afraid to make mistakes, you are ultimately preventing yourself from learning what you need to do or what it takes to succeed. So many athletes that I talk with say that they're afraid to make a mistake and ultimately what happens is they end up in a fade cycle. So what I mean by a fade cycle is you go out, you're playing in the game, but rather than taking the risk, just going for it, doing it, they kind of fade. They maybe pass the ball, they don't run as hard, they, they're not as aggressive, they don't like just get after it. And so when those risks don't happen, well, then it kind of reinforces this like, well, I don't really know if I can do it. And so then it just keeps going and they continue on this fade cycle, which then ultimately gets in the way or prevents them from knowing what it takes to succeed. And so if you are an athlete that is playing scared, I really want you to think about that because every time that you're avoiding trying to make a mistake, which ultimately mistakes are inevitable, they are going to happen. If you're playing as a way of avoiding and not taking those risks, oftentimes you're going to walk away kind of disappointed, but also like from a building confidence perspective, sometimes taking those risks very much pay off and you wind up surprising yourself with what you can actually do. Now, some athletes play scared for a variety of reasons. Um, the afraid of being or making a mistake is a big one, but also sometimes there are coaches that do not allow mistakes. You know, you make a mistake, you get pulled. And if you're a coach watching this video, stop that. That's not helpful not good, not gonna get the best out of your athletes. And if that's the type of coach that you have right now, like that that really is unfortunate. Um, however, some of those times that you do take the risk and actually just go on out there and like, hey, I'm gonna try to fail, like you might not make that mistake. And if and when you do, and you do get taken out, that is super frustrating. But think about those times that you took that risk and it paid off. And also, Thinking about those mistakes, another reason why some athletes play scared is that they're like, oh, it's going to be so embarrassing. Like, you know, I just can't, I can't imagine doing that. Okay. Well, do you rem like remember a mistake you made a year ago, two years ago? Like, yes, you very much might be embarrassed and feeling embarrassed is very uncomfortable. Um, but what do you remember more? A mistake that you made two years ago or maybe this like really awesome play making moment or game winning moment that you had. And so mistakes... They're very complex, but ultimately when you play scared or are afraid to make them, you actually prevent yourself from knowing that you do have what it takes to succeed and knowing exactly what it is that you need to do to do so. So I wanna encourage you to get out there and try to fail. And if your coach pulls you out, that's a bummer, but you may take that risk and it might pay off. And so I hope this is a helpful thing to think about to have, help you on your journey to unlock your MVP mindset for all of your future MVP performances.